Okay, so this is probably the longest part of any of the tutorials I gave. I think a lot of it is due to the fact that I did contouring in this video, and that's what took up it longer. Um, so that may be why it's a seven part. Normally, my makeup at least is a four part with a finale, but it's a little bit longer because I guess there's more steps to how I'm applying my makeup. Um, so. And plus, you know, in each step, you may not want to look at each particular thing I'm, I did on my face to achieve my look. Maybe you just only want to look at how I got my lips that way, how I got my contouring that way. So, in a way, it's kind of good that I get to break it up because maybe you don't want to see every single part. Uh, maybe you do. So, I, I can like, God, like, I'm on my seventh video. This is technically my eighth, and I normally when I do a part, I like to have a uh, finale. So in the finale, I know I'm going to be able to get to my eyelashes, um, but when I last left off, I did achieve my look, um, my lips. The look is, I originally labeled my um, tutorial and review um, based upon Thanksgiving, but when I realized the lipstick and the gloss I did in the liner, I actually have wear this lipstick only because I seen it on a cover of, as I was mentioning in my other video, that I seen it on a cover of Vogue magazine and the actress that was wearing it was called, you know, she's Lupita Nyong'o. Um, she's a beautiful African um, woman, really, really dark skin, darker than mine, but I love really dark skin. And when I saw her on the cover of this magazine, I, I ran to a, a Mac and I was like, I need to have this look. I want to at least have this look. I can't have her skin, but I at least can try to have that lip color. And I love how she looked where her eyes were really neutral, but she had a bold lipstick and she was highlighted and contoured up the wazoo. So, um, in this video, <laughs> I will be finishing off my strobing effect and I will be doing my mascara. I don't know if I mentioned in my last video, but this is a sharpener that I use for my lip liner. I don't think I needed to sharpen my pencil in the video and I don't recall that I did or not but I did want to mention that because that's different than the sharpener that I normally use for my eyeliner which it's a MAC sharpener. It's in almost in every video if I use a pencil eyeliner. That one I wanted to show because um, it's a CVS brand. It could be Essence of Beauty. It could be Beauty 360. I'm not really sure but it looks like that. Sometimes they're throughout the store. Sometimes they're merchandise with other brands. But um, I think I bought, I bought it in the implements area that's normally along the makeup wall. And um, I don't remember how much it is, but it's inexpensive. And I'm a big fan of CVS, so you'll see that in my honorable mention. Uh, if you want to get a good sharpener that has a large and a small, that's a good one for your lips. Because most lip um, items will have a large pencil. I don't think you ever use a large pencil for your eyes. So that's why it's a perfect one for just your lips. And I like to separate them. So, um, I think what I want to do next is actually my mascara, since I keep talking about it. And I actually love other brands of mascara. I don't really love um, uh, Max mascaras. And you'll see the technique I apply. It's the same technique I do in all my videos. I always apply the mascara to the top of my lashes. I never really have a problem with getting product on my lashes, but it is a pet peeve of mine, seeing that on other women, and I mention it probably in every, every, every time I apply my mascara, I always mention it, but I want to get the word out, the awareness. So this is one of their thickening ones with a small brush. They're not my favorite of mascaras, but I really wanted this video to be specifically MAC, MAC Cosmetics. And out of, out of the, uh, out of the mascaras that I've ever owned from MAC, um, this is one of them that I do like. And it's normally I use this one when I have, when I'm doing a dramatic effect. And I did just mess up my my sh my eyeshadow and I'm gonna actually let it dry or maybe I may leave it it looks like an eyelash anyway so I may leave it um I, 
if I have time, I'll show you how I fix it. But um, my technique is that I this this mascara is very wet, so I don't think it's waterproof. So you want to be really careful on how you apply it. I want my look to look at least completed. Well, like I was saying before, um, the reason why MAC doesn't have my favorite mascaras, I've used their products for years and I've always suffered with never finding a mascara that I love. And really, seriously, based upon my local uh, department store where I buy my MAC cosmetics, because the staff hasn't been... I've, I've lived in cities where I've gotten better customer service, particularly when you go to a department store. But some of these people act like they can't even be bothered with you. Like, you're coming in to buy makeup. And as they're working on a person that they're doing a makeover for who may or may not buy items from them, they uh, make you wait. They don't treat you so kindly, like tr give you customer service. So, I don't really buy as many MAC items as I used to buy when I lived in New York and in the New Jersey area. Um, even when I lived in Florence, South Carolina, there were some girls at the mat counter who were really nice, but my first encounter with them, they weren't that nice. So I only came in there to really pick up something that I needed. And then I met a young lady that taught me a lot of things. But I, I'm not a big fan of uh, MAC mascara because I don't really find that it really does anything and I've used so many throughout the years but out of all of them this is the one that really gives me the the effect that I want it's kind of clumpy today and um there it's not my favorite but my favorite mascara that I used actually yesterday um didn't work so well because I um, applied the, the gel um, eyeliner to the top of my lashes and it really didn't allow me to grab and I think the reason why this uh, these eyelashes don't look as great as this one is because I really didn't get close to my lash line on top there we go I think that may do it still a little clumpy what I like but I'm trying to work with it. Their mascaras are really wet. So you got to really be careful on how you apply it. And personally, I wouldn't recommend buying... I love MAC Cosmetics, but the one thing that I don't like is their mascaras. But I wanted this to be a true MAC Cosmetic tutorial. Yesterday I did one for a different brand like Maybelline and I did have to use some MAC items because some of the items I use I only just use that but um but um that's basically my finished look um I do one of the things that I did want to show is that if you do feel like your lashes are clumpy use your use this tool I use uh is it upside down? Yep, it is. Makeup Academy. You'll see me use it a lot. CVS brand. It's a brow and lash comb. Just use it, but you got to do it while it's wet. You can't do it while it's dry. It's not going to do nothing for you when it's dry. But if you ever run into that problem where your lashes look a little clumpy, you can actually comb it through. You can even use a toothpick to separate them. But it has to be wet. It won't work. Um, if it's not wet. Um, the other thing I wanted to show in this video as another little trick that my pet peeve about the whole eyeshadow and mascara thing I'm not really going to get into it now but all you got to do if you ever need to fix something is use your finger and, and hit the area you're trying to fix and keep adding eyeshadow till you cover it. See if I would have tried to remove it when it was wet it would have smeared all over my eyelash. You see I just covered it. 
There's a little piece of, of um, from the mascara that I got on my eyelid. There's no reason why, um, why you should be putting your eyeshadow on after your mascara. Because you'll end up with a bed of eyeshadow on top of your mascara. So when I look down, you can see that it's all black, you know, on my eyelashes. Now, this is not my favorite mascara. But, um, I want to be brand loyal in my video. So, um, I'm looking around for something. I'm going to use this product here. This is what I'm going to use to set my makeup, but I, it, it will at least at least wet my uh, towelette. And maybe it can remove some of that. I may have to just go ahead and use a whole new wipe. All my wipes dried out, and I hate wasting wipes. But, I'm going to go ahead and use a, a towelette to remove what's on my hands because that's the only way. I guess I'll wipe the, my nightstand table off because I got some of that translucent powder on it. But um, I guess I have more makeup on my hands than I thought. Even when you think you're neat, you always want to remove it so you don't, you know, have it on your clothes when you put your clothes on. I'm actually in my nightgown. Uh, and I'm about to go out. I need to hurry up because we want to get to get to our destination before it closes but I am almost done my hands are damp so I'm trying to dry them on my night shirt but basically this is my finished look I am going to strobe my nose and on top of my cheek to complete my look but this look is inspired by Lupita Nyong'o I actually looked up her name and make sure I spell I pronounce and I pronunciate it her last name correctly since I admire her so much it'd be great it'd be terrible if I uh <laughs> butcher her name but like I said I seen this look on the cover of a Vogue magazine I loved it she was she just gorgeous just regal gorgeous so my hands are pretty fairly dry now but I'm big on applying things with a brush but this is the other eyeshadow I was talking about right here that I apply with my fingers I really don't use it as an eyeshadow I only use it for this reason and the same technique, I just take my finger and in a circular motion get the product on my finger like so. And I'm going to strobe out my, to complete my look. I normally put it on the tip of my nose. And just strobe it out in a circular motion. And I, it really looks gold sometimes it looks really really gold but you just keep moving in I may have put too much product on my finger but just keep pressing it in the skin the reason why I don't really use this as an eyeshadow is because of that reason the more you play with it you see how it gets more clear and you can barely see it so I use it as like a strobing item and the more you you play in it and blend it in the more it disappears. And you see how it strobe me? Um, I also use it also on the top of, top of my cheekbone here as a nice little effect as well. And I just sweep it back and forth until it starts to blend in and look like it's almost invisible. Because you really want it to look invisible. You don't want to look like you actually <laughs> put eyeshadow on the tip of your nose or on top of your cheeks. But I don't know if you can see it in, in, in the light but that's where I normally um, put it and I go back and forth and it's a really good eyeshadow the color is called honey lust and I actually only use it for that reason you probably can use it as an eyeshadow but if you do apply it you will have to apply it the same way I applied this eyeshadow I have um, with your finger because it's 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 highly pigmented which means that if you use a brush you're gonna get all this glitter all over your face and it's hard to get rid of it <laughs> so I only use this for a strobing effect you see how it, right there how it picks up I only use it for a strobing effect on my cheeks and on my nose and you gotta be real careful because if you don't blend it in really well it will look funny um, on your skin and once again I'm gonna do this side right on top of the cheekbone and just back and forth with it 
it's like so much makeup to make you look natural. It's so funny how we are so counterproductive when us ladies are putting on makeup. But all the things we go through to make ourselves look 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 uh, healthy, make our skin look healthy and glamorous. Mind you, I'm only doing one errand a day and all this makeup, but at least if I go out, I'm going to look fabulous and feel fabulous. So that's where I normally do the strobing effect. 